Hi, superstars. It is time for math. We are on lesson 7-6. Use patterns to develop fluency in subtraction. All right, let's read our first problem here. Look at the first equation. So these are our equations over here. Write the number from the number card that completes the equation on the orange space. Repeat for the next equation. Finish the pattern by drawing the other number cards on the orange spaces and then write the numbers to complete the equations. What patterns do you see? All right, let's look at our first equation here. Five minus what equals two? So what can you use to help you solve this equation? You can put up five fingers. So five take away how many is two fingers. So if we have five fingers, put your fingers up. How many fingers do you need to take away so that only two fingers remain up? Three. So we're going to use this number card here. Five take away three equals two. All right, let's look at our next. Let's look at it over here at our next equation. Five take away what equals three? So put your five fingers up. How many fingers do you need to take away in order to have three fingers remaining? How many? Two. Five take away, we use this number card here, five take away two equals three. So let's look at the two equations and compare those numbers. So the first one is five minus three equals two. And then the second one is five minus two equals three. So what is the same and what is different? Well, it looks like they have the same numbers in those two equations. They're just in different parts of the equation. So we have five take away three equals two and five take away or minus two equals three. So we're gonna continue our pattern. So we used three, then we used two. So look at our cards up here. We used three, then two. Three here and two here. So how could we continue a pattern? using these two cards. Which one do you think would go in this equation? So we have three, two, which one, one or zero would be next? One, do you see the pattern? the numbers are going down by one. We have three, two, one. So five take away one equals what? Put up your five fingers, take one away, four. So now look at these numbers here. Do you see a pattern? Two, three, four. So it looks like 
these numbers are increasing or getting bigger by one. And these numbers over here are getting smaller by one. All right, let's continue our pattern. What number are we gonna put in this equation? Five take away how many? What is our remaining card? Zero. So five, put your five fingers up, minus zero. Do you take any fingers away? No. So how many are still up? Five. So look at the pattern. We continued it. We have two, three, four, and five. They're increasing or going up by one. And on the other side of our equation here, our numbers go three, two, one, zero. They're going down by one. So we have a pattern. All right, let's move on. All right, let's listen to our video. What patterns do you see in the five frames? Well, there are zero dots. They're crossed out in the first one. So all of the dots in the first row are not crossed out. And then if we look at the second row, one dot is crossed out. And as we go down, one more dot is crossed out. So here is zero, one, two, three, four, and five. So it looks like it gets larger by one, the crossed out dots. Zero dots are crossed off in the first one. One dot is crossed off in the second one. Two dots are crossed off in the third one, and so on. What do the equations show? They show how many dots are left after some or none have been crossed off. These equations are known as subtraction sentences since they show subtraction problems. What patterns do you notice? Hmm, it looks like the numbers that we're subtracting from stays the same. So the five remains the same, right? And then it looks like there's a pattern here. It looks like these numbers are going up by one. And if we look over here, these numbers are getting smaller by one. The numbers you are subtracting from stay the same. The numbers you are subtracting go up. The answers go down. What do you notice about these pairs of equations? The numbers that are taken away are switched with the numbers that are left. How are the equations in the pairs alike? Both equations in each pair start with 5. If you know that 5 minus 1 equals 4, then you also know that 5 minus 4 equals what number? What does that, what number is it? 
five minus four equals one. If you know that five minus one equals four, then you also know that five minus four equals one. The one and the four switch places. Now you know how to use a pattern to help solve a problem. All right, let's go to our next problem. We're at our guided practice. We're right here. You're going to complete each equation to find the pattern and then explain the pattern that you see. So four take away or, or minus zero equals how many? Four minus zero equals four because you're taking zero away. You're not taking anything away from it. All right, let's look at our next equation. Four minus one equals three. All right, let's look at this one now. Four minus two equals how many? You can put four fingers up. When you take two away, how many are left? Two. And four minus three equals what? One. All right, so what patterns do you see here? So if we look at the numbers that we are taking away, zero, one, two, three, it looks like they're going up by one. How about the answers to our subtraction sentences? We have four three, two, one. So what's happening there? The numbers are getting smaller by one. All right, let's go to the next page. All right, we are going to continue. We are going to look for a pattern and we're going to explain the pattern that we see. So here's number two. Let's complete our equations. The first one is three minus how many of these butterflies? One. So three minus one equals how many butterflies are left? Two. All right, let's go to our next sentence. Three minus how many butterflies have an X on them? Two. So three minus two equals how many butterflies are remaining? One. Next one, three minus how many butterflies have X's on them? Three. Three minus three equals how many are remaining? Zero. So let's look at the pattern here. Look at the patterns. So over here we have one, two, three. What's happening to those numbers? They're going up by one. And then we have two, one, zero. Those numbers are going down by one. They're getting smaller by one. Okay, let's look at number three. Okay, we have one minus one. 
So one minus one equals how many? If you take one away from one, you have zero. All right, now we have one take away how many? How many X's do you see here? Zero. One minus zero equals one. So let's look at the pattern. We have the same numbers, but they're just switched. One minus one equals zero, and one minus zero equals zero. We have the same numbers in different order. All right, let's continue. Okay, we're gonna do number four together, even though this is independent practice. You are going to mark X's to complete the pattern. Explain the pattern you see and then write an equation for each row of flowers. So remember the patterns that we were seeing before. So let's look at the first row here. It's showing two flowers. So we put two here. Two minus how many have X's? Two. Two minus two equals what? How many flowers are remaining that do not have X's? Zero. So we're making a pattern, remember. So if we have two X's in our first row, how many are we going to X out here? One. Because we had two, we're making a pattern. Now we're going one. Two minus one is how many? How many flowers remaining? One. We're gonna continue our pattern. We had two X's, then we had one X, and now what are we going to do? How are we gonna continue the pattern? We have two, one, we are not going to put any X's. So two take away zero, because there are no X's. We didn't take any away. Equals, how many flowers are there still? Two. So look at our patterns. We have zero, one, two. The numbers go up by one. And over here, we have two, one, zero. What's happening to the numbers? They are less by one. Two, one, zero. And these numbers remain the same. All right, I want you to continue your independent practice. You are doing a great job. Until next time, have a wonderful day. Bye.